Hey, how you doing there again, folks? You get, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, you folks, sampler platter videos. Here's videos I've been doing for the while. I'm going over there to try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I'm about to go over there and review an energy drink that's endorsed by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Well, with the WWE slash WWF and such. But it got me thinking, why aren't there American Gladiator energy drinks with turbo and nitro and all? Million dollar idea, folks. Million dollar idea. I'm not asking for a lot. Maybe like $100,000. Maybe $200,000. Just so I can get some shit paid off. <laughs> but anyway, folks, that aside, million dollar idea. What am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, I just said what I am. I'm also in the truck. I'm also wearing a cool shirt. When I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the shirt that I'm wearing. What cool shirt am I wearing? Well, boom, it's, it's a stellar circuit shirt, but it's not my favorite one. Um, I mentioned this in my other videos that I've done while I'm wearing this shirt. I love stellar circuits. Stellar circuits, I'm sorry. They're a band out of North Carolina. Extremely good dudes. I absolutely love their music. Uh, and they're just great people in general. I've been fortunate enough to meet them a few times. Uh, I actually have some videos of shows of theirs that I've been to on this very channel because I also do concert videos and stuff too. Just saying. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I can't say enough good things about these guys. Please go check out their music. It's on Bandcamp and YouTubes and all that stuff. So. Anyway, folks, I am in fact going to review another Dwayne The Rock Johnson energy drink because we're doing boom. <sighs> it's another ZOA. Uh, at the time I've done this, I did the... Like the normal flavor one, like the baseline one. I also did the fruit punch one, and now I'm doing wild orange one. My fellow everyday warrior, Zoe is about healthy, positive energy that helps us all focus, be productive, and get stronger together. Mana, gratitude, Zoa. Dwayne Johnson, who, again, probably had nothing to do with this beyond just going over there and signing his name onto something. Though I could be wrong. And to be fair, if I am, then I apologize to Dwayne the Rock Johnson. So... <clears throat> At this one, I guess I'm just going to do all of them. There's like one other one. I think it's like pineapple coconut. Uh, because sure, why the hell not? Um, it's, you know, at the time that I'm doing this, it's kind of funny because uh, because of his whole Black Adam tie-in thing, because he did the movie Black Adam, all of his energy drinks, most of his energy drinks, they have like a big like Black Adam thing. This one doesn't, but most of the other ones did. And uh, that movie bombed pretty hard, from what I understand. Wasn't super well received, didn't really get him to where he wanted to be in the DC universe. So, maybe they'll have the energy drink stuff to fall back on. Now, here's the thing, folks. As I'm about to drink this, the question has to be asked going into it. It might taste okay, but will it smell funny? Because that is the thing with the Zoa energy drinks. Two that I've had previously, they both smelled funny. Let's find out if the orange one smells funny. I'm guessing it will. Yep, smells funny. It's, I mean, I don't know if it's like... Maybe it's like supposed... Uh, is it like a coconut milk thing or some shit? Uh... If it is, I don't know where it is on the on the uh, uh, on the ingredients list. Right. Yeah, okay. By the way, it's zero sugar, so fifteen calories, all that good such. Yeah, all right. Why not? Does it say somewhere? Why do you smell funny? No other energy drink smells funny that I'm aware of, unless it's like gone off. Why do you smell funny? I want to like you, but you smell funny. And here's a dick of it. It tastes good. That's the thing. It wasn't super huge on, like, the baseline one, but the fruit punch one tasted good, and this one tastes good. Stop smelling funny! <laughs> if you would stop smelling funny, I would like you a lot. But you smell weird, and when I put my no or put you up to my face to drink you, I can smell the smell funniness. And then it's like, it just smells funny, and I'm not a big fan. 
It's like I want to like you. <sighs> Just like people wanted to like Black Adam. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I mean, it, genuinely, it does taste good. Like, I like the orange aspect of it. Despite the fact that it's zero sugar, it doesn't taste stupid zero sugary. I like the taste of these things, man. They just, whoever is in charge of it, maybe Dwayne the Rock Johnson can't smell it. Maybe he took enough chair shots to the head over the years that, you know, his olfactory senses aren't working properly. And mind you, my sense of smell sucks. It is not great, okay? I'm usually stuffed up either completely on one side, today it's this side, or I'm like half stuck up on both sides. I can still smell this pretty prominently, I know what people who actually can smell are smelling. That is the kicker with this, because... I like the orange taste. And I like that, you know, they call it wild orange. I like that it has, like, a little bit more of a... A less restrained... Restrained? Restrained? That's what I wanted, restrained. It has less of, like, a restrained orange taste to it. It does feel a little bit more exotic -y orange. I like that aspect of it. If it didn't smell funny, this would be a genuinely really good energy drink that I would be more than happy to go over there and be like, this is really good and you should try it. Problem is, it smells funny. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have a weird aftertaste or anything like that. The orange taste is nice. Uh, it doesn't taste like an orange soda or anything like that. Close as I could kind of say, <clears throat> a little bit. Rem the, the orange taste reminds me a little bit of how orange tastes in Orange Fanta. And what I mean by that, Orange Fanta, to me, has always had a very distinct taste to it compared to something like Crush or uh, like Sunkist. It has like something a little bit extra that just kind of, for me, has always made it stand out. This has a little bit of that too. And again, that's like, I'm guessing that's like the wild orange aspect of it. Um, I do, and I like that aspect of it. They can just figure out how to make these things not smell weird. I'd be all over them. As is, two questions have to be asked. Would I try it again? Would I recommend it to people? No, damn it, because it smells weird. And the only reason why I would try it again is if if they change if they change it up where it doesn't smell funny, absolutely. I'll I'll give it my full endorsement. The only other way that I would go over there and try it again was if enough time passed that my I was just like, maybe it won't smell as funny to me this time. <laughs> maybe it'll be better. Cause it's such a shame, because like I said, I mean, you know, as much as I might rag on it a little bit and have a little bit of fun with you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's uh, movie career. It's like, it's a, you know, it tastes good. And I mean, you know, it's got a positive message on there and Dwayne The Rock Johnson might have signed off. You know, I'm down with it. It just, it just smells weird. And that for me always is the kicker. It's like, if they could get that worked out, I would be, I'd be down with it. But because it does, I mean, try it out. Maybe it won't smell funny for you. <laughs> But for me, it's not hugely abrasive. It's not something I can't get past. But at the same time, it does go over there and diminish my enjoyment of the drinking, excuse me, drinking experience. And if that's the case, why don't I just go get any other energy drink? That doesn't smell funny. But anyway, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Mind your mind for the rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your folks. You can go over there and have yourselves a truly non-smelly energy drink rest of your life, which is apparently not that difficult, except for Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Um, final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time, folks. Here's what you do. You try not to be an asshole. I've had some fun. Dwayne The Rock Johnson expense. Not that he cares. The man is like damn near a billionaire. You know, fuck does he give a shit what I'm talking about. He's making movies. He's in tremendous shape. He's a legend in the wrestling industry. He's got it damn near all. Except a, uh, you know, superhero film career. But 
take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, try to do better for ourselves and potentially for super famous former wrestlers who are now actors who, you know, didn't make it in the DC universe. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. But anyway, uh, final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to try out a Zoa, Zoa Energy Drink. Sorry. I've, I've, I've I had an energy donut and a not Mexican Mexican chicken sandwich. and It's just been a day, folks. It's been a day. I gotta get a thing out of the freezer when I'm done with this. I just remembered. Um, it's been a day. But maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to try yourself a Zoa energy drink as I have done here today. And maybe like me, it's going to smell funny to you. But maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to get one of those old-fashioned clothespins. Do people still have those? I don't know. I don't dry my clothes like that. I live in fucking modern times, but I'm sure some people do. You're going to put that over your nose like they used to do in the old cartoons. I imagine it would hurt a lot in reality, but again, I don't know. And maybe you're going to drink it, and maybe you're going to absolutely love it. But you're going to go over there, and you're going to be like, look, I can't do this forever. I'm getting a rash on my nose parts. I'm going to go talk to Dwayne The Rock Johnson about this. And then there's, like, security involved, and it's a whole thing and stuff, but... You know, the fact that you have a thing over your nose intrigues Dwayne The Rock Johnson because he can't at that point, you cannot rather at that point, smell what he is cooking because you have your nose clogged up. So he needs to know more. And you'll explain to him that your energy drink smells funny. Then he changes the formula and makes the millions of all that good stuff. Or conversely, just, you know what, folks? Go over there. Watch The Rundown. I think The Rundown's probably the Dwayne The Rock Johnson's best movie, right? It's one of them. Don't go watch Black Adam, though. Actually, I haven't seen Black Adam, so maybe it's good. Bye.